Okay. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Okay, so today is Friday, and on Sunday, we're going to be doing an Olympic triathlon, which is uh, just less than a mile swim, 24 40K. mile bike ride, 40K, and uh, a 10K run, 6.2 miles. We're relaxing a little bit to kind of prepare, and we've kind of been debating how we think each other is going to do. And Jimmy's pretty confident in what he's capable of doing on that day. I am not so confident in what he thinks he can do. He also doesn't think much of what I can do <laughs> on this day. And uh, tell me, what exactly do you think you could do on Sunday? What do you think you're going to swim in? 145 pace. 145 pace, okay. So plug that in, 145. And how fast do you think you're going to bike it? Miles per hour. 19... 19.2 miles per hour on the bike. And how fast are you gonna run your 10K? I think minimum 6.45 pace. Okay, so with a two minute transition from your swim to your bike, because that takes a little longer, and a one minute transition from your bike to your run, what's that total time for you? Two hours, 28 minutes, and 53 seconds. Two hours, 28 minutes, 53 seconds, so you smashed 2.30. All right, so now if you had to guess what you think I'm gonna do, how fast do you think I'm gonna swim it? 135 pace. 135 per 100. How fast on my old 10 pound extra bike do you think I'm, I'm gonna be able to, to bike it? 17.5 than four. <laughs> 17.5 miles per hour. And how fast am I gonna be able to run the 10K? 710 pace. 710 pace. I got faster. <laughs> uh, okay, so that with two minute transition from the swim to the bike and a one minute transition from the bike to the run puts me at Two hours, 36 minutes, and 30 seconds. Eight minute victory. <laughs> eight, eight <laughs> minutes. If you had to put a percent on it, the percent chance that I could beat you on Sunday. You mean like if I crash or something? No, I mean like, like if I just, you know, beat you as like a person. <laughs> And nothing weird happened, and I was just better than you on that day. I think the only way that happens is if I, like, hit the wall and I can only run, like, eight-minute pace. Ten percent. So, ten percent. Ten percent is the chance you put on me being able to beat you. Yeah. You can swim a little bit faster. But I got you on the bike. Why do you most... have me on the bike? I don't understand. Neither of us know anything about biking. We've never raced. You have a better bike, but that doesn't mean you're a better biker. Why, why is it just a given that you're going to just crush me on the bike? You're fatter. <laughs> That's true, but that doesn't mean you're going to beat me. I'm also fatter in the swim. <laughs> You probably weigh with your bike 20 pounds more. Uh huh. And my bike is more aerodynamic, which probably doesn't make that big of a difference. So it's simply based off of machinery and, and my fatness. Yeah. And why I run all the time, you don't. Why can you just beat me by 30 seconds per mile when we run together all the time and when we race? We're basically close to being the same time. Right now. More talent. <laughs> <laughs> In just a 10K on the track, I think I could do 38.30 maybe. Like, on Sunday, if we went to the track, you'd run a 38.30 10K. I think I could do that. I don't and know. what would I run it in? 41. 41? I'm just... For five years, 
<laughs> I've been trying so hard to get better running, and I'm just destined to only run 40 months. Did you get an arrow helmet? <laughs> I, I, I got a, I bought a helmet online for $35 that looks aerodynamic. I don't know how good it is. I feel like this is the perfect example of, this is the real thing, and this is what Wish <laughs> is like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just picked up our packets and took a look at the course. How do you feel about the course? Looked like it'd be pretty easy to be not get confused. And then there was no dismount, so all of your practice that went into dismounting probably isn't going to be very useful, is it? I think it'll be even better. Just run and jump on the bike wherever I feel like it. The only spot we could find here uh, on short notice was this fantastic five-star hotel called the O'Connell Lodge. Like economic, as in cheap and shitty. <laughs> so scratch that, we went into the Econo Lodge and uh, they actually jacked their price up by 20% when we went in there. So we looked uh, and we looked online and a couple blocks away was a Comfort Inn and Suites. Turn right onto East 12th Street. Which is basically the exact same East price. East. So uh, that's where we're going instead. Today on day 21, I'm gonna need that energy, but okay. So for dinner, the day before we do an Olympic triathlon, we're going to have Vinny's pizza and sandwiches. <laughs> we were going to go to an Italian restaurant, but it turns out it's only uh, takeout and uh, delivery. So uh, we'll see if this is any good. Get fueled up on some pizza. So it's the morning of our Olympic triathlon and we got up way too early because Jimmy needed to shave his entire body, put on body glide and also put on his full one piece women's swimsuit that he'll be wearing in his race. I mean you were literally in there for probably 40 minutes and there's no way you were just taking a shower in there like what were you doing? Literally lubed yourself from top to bottom Jimmy's taking this very seriously. He's gotten every piece of uh, performance equipment he can possibly get. He's shaved his body. He has the full body suit. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he uh, performs with all these added benefits. What'll be really funny about it though is he'll probably like win the race or come in like third and I'll just be absolutely horrible. That's likely what's well, gonna maybe happen. Maybe if you would've shaved your balls. Yeah, if I, maybe if I would've. Shaved my... Did you shave your balls? No. Oh. Well, I guess I did one thing right. Finisher. 
Romano in second place, and James Forrester of Portland in third.